day, my friends. Walter here. Uh, it's always been my opinion the hardest part of any job is actually starting on the job. Once you get into it, it usually goes easier. Blah, blah, blah. It usually goes easier than you expected. But not always. You can run into all kinds of problems. That's what tends to make people procrastinate, put things off. You never know when something's going to get difficult. But sometimes you just got to roll up your sleeves and jump right in there and try it. I need to work on my expedition here a little bit today. Um, I've been getting an air, a noise, blah, blah, there I go getting tongue-tied again. And getting a lot of noise around the fan belt. I think it needs a new serpentine belt. I've already bought one. I'm thinking it also might be possible one of those idler pulleys or some of them other pulleys in there might be making a, a noise too. Basically, I know it needs some work. We're going to try to do a little mechanic in today. I would say shade tree mechanic, but it's a nice sunny day. So hang in there and let's see how this goes. I went ahead and bought my belt because I could see that I needed one. Bought this one in Advance Automotive here in town. We're going to dive in here and do our best. You know, I got an assortment, a handful of tools. Just grabbed out of one of the boxes in there. Uh, I say tools, mostly just nut drivers and a screwdriver right now. Because I didn't know what size to bring. I fumbled around and that looks about like a quarter inch. But I didn't bring that nut driver. Yeah, that's way too big. Okay, we got it. We'll start. I've already. Well, let me back up here a minute. If you're a, a viewer who's trying to learn how to do this, I swear well, what I'm doing, trying to learn, you'll find this little cover right here on there. And there's a couple of bolts over here you have to take out uh, on this 97 Ford Expedition. And this part over here just snaps in. I've already took my part off. But I thought I'd include that in this video. I by no means am an expert, but you might get a general idea how to do some of this stuff. Okay, that's definitely got to come off right there. And we'll take a screw off right over here. Uh, yeah, I don't need to go any farther back than that right there. Let's pull this wire off. You know, I should have worn my glasses out here today. That clips on there somehow or another. Well, maybe I won't have to. Let's take the screw out. Let's loosen the hose clamp for me. Okay, that one pulled apart there. This one just seems to be stuck. I don't want to mess around with break one of these hoses. I don't know 
what? Let's just prop it up like that. That's good enough. How the heck we're taking it to doing unnecessary work. Now, looking down through here, I need some light on the subject for y'all. These pulleys are looking awful loose. There's a lot of tension on that belt. Let's see if we can get it off. Make sure we've got a diagram here of how it goes back. We don't see no diagram. There it is. That's a lot of pulleys, so we're out of belt, ain't it? All right, the tensioner for the belt tensioner in there. They said on the video that I watched, it takes a half inch drive ratchet handle, but I can't get it in there. So I've just clamped a pipe wrench around it. It was so tight, I pushed down on it like that. And I've already lifted the belt off the alternator up here, so the tension is gone off of it. Not a redneck way to get a belt off, but I'll tell you how I got it rigged. It's a pipe wrench with a vice grip on it, and I grabbed a hold of that tensioner and turned it. So we're making progress. Now, I'm going to slide up under the vehicle and take off what I can under there, and then see if I can pull the belt out of there. Providing I get up under this van, let's see. Okay, Walter, get your big behind down there. Oh. I ain't gonna be able to see Diddley under here. I want to do it all from the top. I can't see nothing under there. I'm just having to feel for that belt on this side. Now, I'm not going to be able to film the actual manipulating the belt off of the front of the engine for because it looks like it's going to take me some time. Alright, I just pulled out the belt. I had to lay up under the van to reach my arm around above that cover on the bottom under there until I felt the bottom of the crankshaft and just grabbed the belt and pulled it off. And then I got back up here and yanked it up out of the hole. We'll yet to figure out how we're going to restrain it. Okay, this belt's looking ragged along the edges. No telling how many miles is on that booger bear. Oh, let's double check while I'm thinking about it. And make sure the new one's the same size.
There ain't no way in hell he sold me the right bill. There is no way on earth he sold me the right stand bill. Back to the auto parts store. Sold me the wrong belt. <sighs> Dad, blame it. Well, before I go, let's check all these idler pulleys. All the ones I can get to here. That one spins nice. The tensioner pulleys feels all right. <laughs> It's just an idle pulley to, to reroute it. It's got no tension on it at all, but it spins free and makes no noise. Fan turns all right. At this point in the video, we got to pause and go find the right fan belt. And of course, I can find my receipt. That ought to be fun. Oh, you know what I should have did? Disconnected my battery. I'll come back with a dead battery from that hood light being on. Sometimes you just gotta cheat a little bit. Just like with that pipe wrench while ago. Okay, the battery's disconnected. Go find my billfold and jump in the truck and go to Auto Parts Place. Alright, I went to the Auto Parts Place. Told them I got the belt that was way too short. And she says, Does it have air conditioning? I said, Yes, it has air conditioning. So evidently they sold me a belt. For a vehicle non-air conditioned. I wasn't I didn't think you could buy a vehicle these days for that didn't have air conditioning. Not a big old SUV. Anyway, we're gonna fight with this belt this afternoon. Probably won't get a whole lot of it video because I'm gonna be concentrating on getting it routed. See if I can show you what it looks like down in there. They make a special tool for tension and taking the tension off that belt. It costs forty-five dollars. And I wasn't too interested to buy it. I'll just put my pipe wrench back on there and do the same way I took it off. I told her if I can't get the belt on, then I'll come back and buy her too. It's going to be a booger bear putting all that stuff on there. Anyway, here we go. My 
on he lies over the ocean. Look at that, it wants to get back in the package. We'll fiddle with it and do our best to put it back on here without it getting injured. I'm on blood thinner. It don't take much to get me bleeding. According to the diagram, it goes under that pulley and around the air conditioner. Back up over the tensioner. So I need to shove the pulley, the belt, between the hydro pulley and that thing right there. Well, there sure ain't a lot of room down in there. Hmm. Let me move some of these tools. Well, my friends, I got the new belt on there, and it's something you just gotta wrestle with. I could have took covers like this off and probably got to it better, but I managed to get all the pulleys right the right way. I haven't started it yet. Got all these back on. Let's go ahead and put this on. Uh, we'll know when I crank it up if anything's out of line, because we're gonna hear it. Didn't find anything wrong with those pulleys. At least it didn't seem like they were any problem with them. Been so long since I took that off and forgot where it goes. I think right there. We'll fire it off here in just a minute.
uh, YouTubers, you can change your own serpentine belt. We get ready to get dirty and bruised up. I'm particularly bruised because of my blood thinner, but you can do it. I had to redneck the tensioner with a pipe wrench. Didn't have the special tool. They said a half inch ratchet would fit on everything. Why it don't? Let's fire off the motor and we'll know real quick if it's fixed. I'm going to move the camera up close where you can hear it and we'll compare it to the way it sounded before on the belt. better wouldn't you we're gonna pronounce this this repair job done all right my friends to conclude my video today I should point out that the job always seems harder than it really is. I had some difficulties, but I managed to get it done. It's best not to sit around and procrastinate, and that's what I did for two or three days. Procrastinate, kind of put it off and put it off and put it off. I'm glad I got it tackled and done now. Less likely to get stranded somewhere. Thanks for tuning in, my friend.